Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Thursday, July 11th, 2024. Let's find out what's going on on the Forex economic calendar today. GDP uh, data from the UK are scheduled for release at 8 o'clock and a bunch of the other uh, GDP, um, uh, GDP related um, data uh, from the UK of course uh, will be uh, published uh, together with the GDP uh, readings industrial production manufacturing production monthly GDP change and trade uh, balance so a bunch of important data uh, uh, scheduled for you at eight o'clock at the same time we got the German CPI uh, data uh, uh, this is the very important data release. The market participants expect the CPI to stay at the same level of 0.1%. Uh, uh, so uh, please uh, keep an eye on this uh, data as, uh, uh, as well. A Bank of England credit condition survey will take a place at 10.30 and 30 minutes later at 11 o'clock we got the IEA monthly report data. Nasir monthly GDP tracker from the UK will be released at 2 o'clock and then 30 minutes later we got a bunch of the very important data from the US CPI, core CPI and the initial jobless claims all of this data are scheduled for release at half past 2 then at the end of the day we got a speech from the FOMC member Bostic and then at 8 o'clock we got the scheduled, uh, scheduled release of the federal budget balance and half past 10 we got the Fed's balance sheet. So very important data releases in form of the CPI both from the Germany and from the USA uh, together with the GDP of the UK is a mixed bag of the very important uh, data releases that might cause some sort of the volatility on the market so let's switch to the technical part of this uh, review and we will start with the euro dollar as usual euro dollar for our chart is bouncing from the uh, level of 1.0806 and it is approaching right now the technical resistance at 1.0844 we need a sustained breakout above this level and above the level of 1.0854 uh, in order to uh, test the level of 1.0970 uh, the momentum is strong the momentum is positive it just has bounced from the level of 51 points so it it, it tested the neutral uh, level uh, on the rsi so the market might be ready to break out to the upside um, of course the trigger for this movement might be uh, from the fundamental data the scheduled data that we have um, uh, for today the cpi data from the germany the cpi data from the uh, usa so please keep an eye on the current uh, situation because the volatility might be uh, much uh, bigger than it is right now during the data release well, that was the euro dollar it's quite obvious what is going on here now the british pound and the british pound has done exactly what we anticipated so uh, according to our blue arrow we should bounce from the level of 1.2777 and test the uh, swing high from the uh, from the let me just take a look from the um, june 12 2024 and this is what exactly happened we even have the marginal uh, higher high at 1.283063 uh, but this is 15 minutes to eight o'clock so we are waiting for the uh, for the data releases in the form of the GDP, right? At, at eight, uh, the schedule for release at eight o'clock, um, and this might be the market positioning ahead of the data release. So again, momentum very strong, extremely overbought again, but we just came off the extremely overbought conditions and hit the level of fifty-two points uh, to test the neutral level, and again we um, expanded to the upside on the RSI on the same situation is on the chart. So right now, what is going on here is possibly some sort of the Elliott wave uh, Fibonacci sequence has been done. Let me just take a look at this uh, Elliott wave impulsive wave uh, to be done. Possibly some some sort of the uh, impulsive wave might be might be done here this might be the way three that correction here might be the way four and we might be narrowing the wave five on the gdp uh, 
uh, on the on the cable basically <laughs> on the cable for our chart we are above 50 and 100 periods moving average which is okay for the bulls but now we got another higher high um between wave three and wave five and there is no higher high here on the rsi so we are st we're starting to uh, build the negative divergence so please keep an eye on the current situation of the uh, cable keep an eye on the current situation uh, of the data release we might see some sort of the deterioration or the pullback in form of the abc correction all of the previous uh, levels uh, that are the support levels and uh, resistance levels are still uh, valid uh, and they applied for the uh, for their market movements let's now switch to the another market uh, we are going to talk a little bit about the s p 500 the reason for that is we have the new all-time high on the s p 500 so the bearish divergence didn't help and there is it looks like there is nothing this market uh, is uh, taking care about as it keeps moving up and up and up uh, right now 5333 points new all-time high on the uh, daily time frame chart of the s p 500 if we switch to weekly Oh, we, weekly weekly chart doesn't actually work that well but but i wanted to um take a look whether the weekly chart is actually uh over about uh, as well so let me just switch back to the uh to the s p uh, 500 uh four hour chart or daily chart as you can see daily is extremely overbought uh 81 points has not been seen uh, since the 19 December 2023 and even despite the fact that it was seen uh, there was just a, f a few days of the correction and then we went up again eventually we've done major correction here towards the 200 periods moving average so we came down to the extremely overset conditions but then the market keeps climbing higher keeps climbing higher uh, so it looks like the S&P 500 um, uh, might uh, finish this uh, week on a higher note again and might do another all-time high last but not least let's take a look at the bitcoin market uh, let me just switch to the four hour chart so what do you see on the bitcoin market it's a classic situation where you need a breakout to the upside in order to continue the up move we spoke about it yesterday let me just um, uh, let me just uh, remind you guys that we got the technical support uh, from the uh, swing low at uh, July uh, 5th 2024 so this is the um, this is the level quite important technical uh, support we um, located at 50 3443 then we got of course the bounce to the upside and now uh, we are very very close to the black trend line we want to break above this trend line because the market is locked between 50 and 100 periods moving average and it's testing them and the initial breakout war failed basically initial breakout failed we went lower towards 50 uh, 7,136 and now we are consolidating uh, around this area waiting for a breakout to the upside waiting for the data that could that could trigger the upside uh, breakout possibly the CPI data might be this kind of data that will trigger the up move if not then uh, if there is no breakout to the upside as you can see the first attempt was a failure if there's no breakout to the upside then we will go lower uh, towards the you know, this is the odd level so we need to move it uh, here uh, towards the level of 54,291 and then towards the swing uh, low so please keep an eye on the current situation uh, because it might develop a little bit a little bit more to the upside but please bear in mind that the current situation looks like a typical abc pattern again we've seen it before we've seen this pattern again we've seen it um, just few days ago this is the wave uh, let me just um, write it down um, abc elliott wave correction we've seen it before just before the drop let's say this is the wave a this is the wave b this is the wave c okay so this is the the other fractal abc to the upside drop correction abc to the upside and the drop all right so please keep an eye on the current situation if there is no immediate reaction to the upside we might see 
lower lows very very soon on the bitcoin market that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time take care and bye bye